Hey friends, welcome to this reading vlog. I just finished reading Moribito, Guardian of the Darkness. This is book two after Guardian of the Spirit. I really loved both books. Both of them I gave five stars. In Guardian of the Spirit, Balsa is hired as a bodyguard for the prince. In this book, the prince is safe, the job is done, and Balsa decides to take a trip to her homeland. Because of certain circumstances, when Balsa was six, she had to escape from her homeland and she hasn't been back since. So this is her first time up there in more than 20 years. When she gets there, she uncovers this huge plot that some of the people there have been planning for decades. This book is super easy to read, it flows really well, and I made my way through it fairly quickly. I love it so much, the plot is amazing, the characters are amazing, and the pacing is amazing. Everything about this book and the first book as well is amazing. I highly recommend you guys pick this book up. I really, really liked it. It definitely is one of my favorite series that I have picked up this year. And also, I don't think it needs mentioning, but the cover is so pretty and the inside of this book is also really pretty. It has all these illustrations, like every time a new part of the book starts, and it's just so amazing. Here's another one. I loved it so much. The next book I'll read is Vagabound Volume 1. I know I've been saying I will finish this book for like a month and a half now, but I promise in this vlog I actually am going to finish it. This book is loosely based on a novel called Musashi, which is a fictional account of the life of Miyamoto Musashi, who is a samurai, I think. I'm really excited to read it. Hey friends, so it's the next day and I just finished Vagabound. I read this all today. It was a pretty fast read because it is a graphic novel. The art in this is beautiful. I love this art style. It's so detailed and just really nice. We follow two boys, Takezo and Matahachi, who are the only two survivors of their army after a battle, I think. In the first half of this book, Matahachi decides that he does not want to return to his home village, so Takezo goes, but when he gets there, there are people after him for some reason because he's apparently like a rebel and no one really wants him around, so they are trying to capture him and kill him. So he's basically like fighting all these people for like well, he's fighting people in the whole book, but like the first half, he's fighting these people that are hunting him down. In the second half of the book, he goes off to Kyoto. He changes his name from Takezo to Musashi, and there he basically wants to fight really good people and learn how to become a good samurai. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if he actually does become the best in the next 
several volumes. And this is completely historical fiction. There's no fantasy, there's no paranormal things going on. I feel like I need to clarify that because I always read fantasy. So yeah, no fantasy in here. Also last night I crocheted and I added a collar to the sweater. You can't really tell what it's supposed to look like, but I'm really excited to see the final product after I'm done with this. I'm hoping to be done with it today or tomorrow at the latest. While I was crocheting, saying that I also listened to an audiobook, Winter of the Witch, which is the last book in the Winter Night trilogy. I'm more than halfway through already because I was listening at a faster speed and I am fairly confident that I can finish the rest of the book today. I really like this third book. I'm not sure if I like it more than the first one because right now I like the first one the best and then the second one I like a little less than the first one. So after I finish this third one, we'll see if I like it more than the first one or not. But I am I'm really enjoying the third one right now. lantern candle I got from somebody and I love how it looks. I'll probably never use it though. It's just for the looks. Also, you probably saw these in the back of my videos for the last couple of videos that I made, but I actually propagated this plant over here. It's getting super long, like it's down to the floor. And I just wanted to propagate it and make some tiny plants. And I changed the water every couple days so it has fresh water to grow in. But like all the roots are growing really long. It's been like a couple of weeks since I put them in here. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm really excited to put them in little pots and put them all over my bookshelf because I really want to have like these vines kind of hanging all over and just not in the corner over here. And this is Pothos, by the way. And yeah. Super excited. I've named this plant Merlin, by the way, and this over here is Morgana. This one is supposed to grow vines as well, so I'm really excited for it to start growing as long as this one. As you can tell, I am cleaning out my bookshelf. It was getting really dusty and I just wanted to take everything off and just kind of wipe everything. It's such a hassle, honestly. Like, I don't even have that many books. This is all I have. And still, it's such a hassle to kind of take everything off and put everything back on again. There are booktubers out there who have hundreds and hundreds of books and I don't know how they do it. I also bought this plant. This is a coffee plant. And in four to five years, if I take good care of it, it is supposed to start growing coffee beans. And I know that's hoping for a lot, but I hope that it grows coffee beans. That's so cool. I don't have a name for it yet though. So if you have name recommendations, please comment them down below. <laughs> Is my favorite shelf on my bookshelf. It's dedicated to my hardback fantasy and I just think it looks really nice but it was starting to look a little bit full so I might switch things around. 
maybe, maybe not, we'll see. And I'm also trying to think of new ways to arrange these vines because they are really long and they hang all the way down to the floor. And I thought of running them along the bookshelf like this but I just don't like how that looks. I just want them water falling down my bookshelf and not running horizontally across. So hopefully I can figure that out too. This is the only book I have on the shelf that's not a hardback. It's a floppy paperback and it has this fancy cover. So technically it's like a faux hardback. I really like how it looks and it's also the same height as all of these other hardbacks. So it fits in perfectly. Okay, so I basically put everything back to how it was before except for these two books. I wasn't the biggest fan of this book so I don't want to have it on my bookshelf anymore and this book is not fantasy so I don't want to put it on the shelf because all of the books on there are fantasy. Originally I put it there because it's the same height as all of the other hardbacks. Last night I finally finished crocheting the sweater and I really like how it looks, especially the sleeves. I love how the sleeves turned out. It's really cozy, really warm. It's got these buttons. While I was crocheting that, I also finished my audiobook of Winter of the Witch and out of the three books in the trilogy, I think that this might actually be my favorite. I really, really liked it and I definitely liked it more than the first book. In this book, Vasya is responsible for bringing together the magical world and the non-magical world and I thought that it all played out really well. I really liked how it was done. I wasn't the biggest fan of the second book in the trilogy and if you want to know my spoilery thoughts you can check out my wrap-up but after reading this book I can kind of understand why that book had to happen for this book to happen because a lot of things that happened in this book were directly or indirectly related to what happened in that book and a lot of the characters developed a lot so you can kind of see where they were before and where they are now and I just really liked seeing that character development. I just need to mention some spoilers because I just have too many feelings. If you have not read the series and you plan on doing so just Skip ahead. By the end of this book, Vasya realizes that people aren't just good or evil and that they're just kind of living life and just doing what they gotta do. I honestly cannot believe that this book made me like my most despised character of 2021. I kid you not, I hated this guy. Absolutely horrible in the first two books. And in this book, I like actually shed a tear or two for him. And the bear, he is like the big bad in the first two books and even at the beginning of this book. But by the end of the book, you kind of understand him, what motivates him, what he wants. And I really liked getting to see that part of him as well. Overall, I really like this book. I don't know if I'm going to give it four stars or five. I'll have to think about it a bit more, but I did really like it. This is all I have for this vlog. I am really glad that I ended up being able to finish all the books that I said I was going to finish. I think that's a first. A quick wrap up. I finished Morbito Guardian of the Darkness, which I really, really liked. I gave it five stars. Next, I finished Vagabound, which I also ended up really liking. I think I'm going to give it four stars. And of course, Winter of the Witch. I don't know what I'm going to read next. Maybe I'll start filming another vlog when I decide. But thank you so much for watching this one. My name is Ishi, and I hope your day is as wonderful as you are.